This is the Gigabot. Gigabot is like a little person. It's super friendly. It's the most affordable 3D printer you can get. Well, we are actually, we're a group of NASA scientists and engineers and strategists, and a number of us were involved with Engineers Without Borders Johnson Space Center. And we were traveling around the world, and we thought it was a shame that um, not everyone had the ability to inspire their own local solutions. We were printing professionally at, at NASA with the expensive printers. We were also using um, hobby DIY printers at home. And we said, man, affordable printers should be at the industrial quality and be bigger. This is that same material, PLA, which normally people think of as being kind of brittle or weak when they make an iPhone case or a lightsaber or a bobblehead. So it's super strong. And um, what, you know, as a social enterprise, we try and um, help people think about where 3D printing might be an opportunity for them. Um, for just under $10,000 US, you can get the kit here, 11,000. You can get the fully assembled version. And it's 30 times bigger than a desktop printer you may have seen at a library or a school. So it's only two to two and a half times the cost. So this is um, two scale. We took it to um, the Offshore Technology Oil and Gas Conference in Houston this year. It was a huge hit. It's precision engineered so you can print at 100 microns up to two feet big or 600 millimeters cubed. And now we're, we're, we're trying to further reduce the cost so that the raw material feedstock will actually come from waste. You can locally source the input material as well. It would allow you to own your own personal factory and have complete control over your supply chain. You can immediately take the print and sometimes with zero prep, put it into a ceramic slurry and cast an object into bronze like you see here that came from this dinosaur skin for an Australian zoo. A Monolith Studios in, um, took a print and they electroplated it in copper. So um, you can see, you know, you can have the print yourself, but there's a lot you can do, whether it's recycled materials like this made from Coke bottles, using the metal inlays, um, creating the print itself, or casting it into metal. Right now we're working on a 3D printed wind turbine we'd like to unveil somewhere that can actually generate electricity. Um, but whether it's a surfboard, a wind turbine, we want to know what you think um, is the next thing in 3D printing, what use case you would like. Um, we try really hard to do things that are community driven. Also, sign up for our newsletter because as a social enterprise, uh, we give away one gigabot for every 100 we deliver to someone trying to make a difference through 3D printing. Um, it's completely crowdsourced. So sign up on the newsletter, you'll hear about the next one, and who knows, you might have a gigabot to do good.